Hi, I'm Stephen Ham from Archery Supplies. Today we're going to look at the new Fivix Airx Cushion Plunger Button. This is new for 2021 from Fivix Archery. Now, if you've just watched the Olympics, you can see everyone is using the Biter Plunger Button. It's regarded as the best plunger button on the market. And when I say everyone, there's, there might be some Americans using the AAE plunger button. They certainly did in the past, and we're going to just discuss the difference between those. So on a normal, on the biter plunger button, the tip is made out of metal. So when you shoot, basically the arrow rubs against that plunger button, and because the metal is harder than the arrow, the arrow will wear out where it's touching the plunger button. Now on the AE plunger button, the tip is made out of Teflon. So the Teflon will wear out where the arrow is rubbing against the plunger button. And a lot of shooters, especially before, used to shoot AE plunger buttons because of the Teflon tip. Because the tip would wear out instead of the plunge, sorry, the tip would wear out instead of the arrow. But then some people said that's not good because the more you shoot, the more the arrow would be moving in. Now this is all minor stuff. And when I say minor, the amount of wear is minor, minor, minor. So basically at the Olympics, most people shoot biter plungers. This is the latest plunger button from Fivix called the Airx. Now, Price point on this is really expensive. I think it's more expensive than the buy to plunger button. And you're going to say, why would anyone shoot this plunger button from Fivix? And I don't know if they will. But Fivix has done a heap of research and they've published it. And what they do is they shoot the arrow 2,000 times against a plunger button and measure and photograph the wear on the plunger button head, which is that thing there. Let's just zoom in on it. So they've measured the wear on that head there. All right. And you'll see a slight bit of wear when they shoot it so, so many thousand times. It's in their report. So what they've done with this plunger button, it's micro adjustment at the back here, so here you can increase or decrease the tension. Comes with various springs, so you can increase, the, increase, or, increase or decrease the tension. It comes in heaps of colors, um, although I only stock black. Um, so this material here, this head's made out of, is called something like a haste alloy alloy. And it's meant to have very limited amount of carbon material in it, which is meant to reduce the amount of friction on the head. So when they shoot thousands and thousands of arrows over this point here, because it's so smooth and so hard, it's meant to create less wear on the tip and less wear on the arrow. And if you have a look at the photographs where it shows the thousands of arrows being shot, basically it shows virtually no wear. Now, Fivix is also on this head here. To make it smooth inside here, so it's very, very smooth in and out. Um, it feels like a biter plunger. They've got some sort of bushings in here which is meant to make it very smooth. It's clearly a high quality plunger button. There's some little Allen keys here to lock it in place. Um, now, the Allen keys would be for replacing the, replacing the springs inside if you want to go um, lighter or heavier. Um, it's adjustable from, this is going from the top of my head, 19.5 to 26.5 millimeters. So distance from there to there. Um, which is the standard for the Fivix plunger button. So you're going to say, does it make much difference, Stephen? I'm going to say not for me because I'm not good enough. So, but maybe it does and maybe I just, I haven't done it to see the difference and maybe if I shot this plunger button, I'd be in the Australian team. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I so wouldn't. Anyway, so this plunger button is really expensive. It's like a like a biter plunger button, but more expensive. 
So this is the this is the cheaper Fivix one. This is the um, five four zero. All right. So let's just zoom in. It's got micro adjustment on the back here as well. So the head itself. Um, I don't know if you can hear it move. Look, it's not as smooth as this, but it's not bad. Um, look, probably, like, if you're happy for me to guess prices, I think this used to be 80. Sorry, I think this is 80. I think this is 180, roughly. Um, look, it depends on how much you shoot. And I kind of go, do I need to spend that much? The A plunger... Um, a have got a whole bunch of plungers on the market ranging from about $40 which are really good plungers right up to the gold micro at about $150 and yes I have shot those um, and what plunger am I shooting now I don't even know which plunger I'm shooting at the moment um, look, I don't know it's a lot of money to pay for a plunger and I know most people will put a biter plunger on. So this, to me, this is a very hard sale. Buy Fivix to take the market share away from biter. It's a very hard sale. It's a very hard push and they need to market this. Um, and I'm doing a very poor job I'm just going, well, here's a new product. But to me, you need people shooting this and people saying, this is better than the Biter. And once you've got people saying that, and maybe you've got a couple of the Fivix staff shooters um, shooting the new RX, um, RX stabilizers, and they say, this is a really good plunger, maybe more people will buy it. I don't know. Um, but that's it there. And it's clearly a quality plunger. It feels great just expensive and I'm sure it is really good material but just at the extra cost um, I'll show you what it comes with it comes with a wrench inside there's a wrench there there's the extra springs it's a nice little container but is it is it a hundred dollars more than the 540 which is a pretty good plunger button I don't know I'll leave that to you Look, if you've tried one of these, if you're a Fivix staff shooter and you've had one of these and you've tried it, drop a note down below. Um, this is literally new in my shop today. Fivix produced for me. I think I did a video on Fivix the other day saying they're really fast at shipping. They, I don't know if they saw it, but straight after I did the video, they gave me a list of everything they have in stock. They have nothing in stock. It was like... It was like a blank sheet. It's like, I've got more Fivix. I've got way more Fivix than Fivix has got, which is a bit weird. Well, maybe not, because maybe when you order it, they then make it. Anyway, I don't know. It was just like, they dropped me a list of everything they had in stock, and I'm like, they've got nothing in stock. It was like... <laughs> anyway, it's, um, it is COVID time, but... They had nothing in stock. And it doesn't stop me ordering. Like, I'll be ordering more Fivix stuff, more Fivix limbs, more... I, you know, I had Fivix in today, and obviously these came in. And I've definitely been ordering those Fornix 14 stabilizers. They were impressive. But they had, no, they had so little in stock. It was like, boy, I don't know how they pay their wages. Anyway, that's the Fivix. RX, RX stabilizer... Um, Fivix produce really good quality stuff. Their pricing is generally pretty good. Um, so I want to say pretty good. They tend to be at the higher end of stuff as far as pricing, but it's not like it's not like it's out of the ballpark. It's kind of where it needs to be for what they produce. They produce high quality stuff. Um, like I'm gonna grab and this is their beginner site fully micro adjustable i think it's about 55 dollars it's like really really good value and then you know that top of the line site's about 300 which is you know a pretty good site so it's not like it's an elite company where they just go we're going to charge a lot for everything they generally generally produce good quality products at a pretty reasonable price so that's the rx plunger just new on the market 
Thanks for watching. Bye.